840 when he starts. Amen. Christ is risen from the dead, trampling down death by death, and upon those in the tombs bestowing life. Christ is risen from the dead, trampling down death by death, and upon those in the tombs bestowing life. Christ is risen from the dead, trampling down death by death, and upon those in the tombs bestowing life. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O most holy Trinity, have mercy on us, O Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our iniquities, O Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Amen. 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 Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. O come, let us worship God, our King. O come, let us worship and fall down before Christ, our King and our God. O come, let us worship and fall down before Christ Himself, our King and our God. Hearken, O Lord, unto my righteousness, attend unto my supplication. Give ear unto my prayer, which cometh not from deceitful lips. From before thy face, let my judgment come forth, let mine eyes be full of brightness. Thou hast proved my heart, thou hast visited into the night. Thou hast tried me by fire, and righteousness was not found in me. That my mouth might not speak of the works of men for the sake of the words of thy lips, have I kept the ways that are hard. Set my footsteps in thy path, that my steps may not be shaken. I have cried, for thou hast hearkened unto me, O God, and by thine ear unto me, and hearkened unto my words. Let thy mercy be made wonderful, O thou who savest them that hope in thee. From them that have resisted thy right hand, keep me, O Lord, as the apple of thy eye. In the shelter of thy wings wilt thou shelter me from the face of the ungodly which have oppressed me. My enemies have surrounded my soul, they have enclosed themselves with their own fat, their mouth has spoken pride. They that cast me out of thou encircled me, they have set their eyes to look askance on the earth. They have taken me as my lion, ready for his prey, and as my lion as well as well within my name. Arise, O Lord, overtake them and trip their heels. Deliver my soul from ungodly men, my sword from the enemies of thy hand. O Lord, from thy kingdom do thou separate them from the earth of their life. Yea, with thy hidden treasures have their belly been filled. They have satisfied themselves with swine and have left the remnants to their babies. But as for me in righteousness, shall I have to before thy face? I shall be filled with thy glory as made manifest to me. Unto thee, O Lord, have I lifted up my soul, O my God, in thee have I trusted. Let me never be put to shame, nor let my enemies laugh me to score. Yea, let none that wait on me be put to shame. Let them be ashamed, which are lawless without a cause. Make thy ways, O Lord, and go unto me and teach me thy paths. Lead me in thy truth and teach me, for thou art God, my Savior, for on thee have I waited all the day long. Remember thy compassions, O Lord, and thy mercies from there from everlasting. The sins of my youth and my ignorances remember not. According to thy mercy, remember thou me for the sake of thy goodness, O Lord. Good and upright is the Lord, therefore will he set a law for them that sin in the way. He will guide the meek in judgment, he will teach the meek his ways. All the ways of the Lord are mercy and truth unto them that seek after his covenant and his testimonies. For the sake of thy name, O Lord, be gracious unto my sin, for it is great. Who is the man that feareth the Lord? He will set him a law in the way which he hath chosen. His soul shall dwell among good things, and his seed shall inherit the earth. The Lord is the strength of them that fear him, and his covenant shall be manifested unto them. My eyes are ever toward the Lord, for the innocent will draw my feet out of the snare. Look upon me, and have mercy on me, for I am one only begotten and poor. The afflictions of my heart are multiplied, bring me out from my necessities. Behold my loneliness and my toil, and forgive all my sins. Look upon my enemies, for they are multiplied, and with an unjust nature have they hated me. Keep my soul and rescue me, let me not be put to shame, for I have hoped in thee. The innocent and the upright have cleaved unto me, for I have waited on thee, O Lord, to redeem Israel, O God, out of all his afflictions. Have mercy on me, O God, according to thy great mercy, and according to the multitude of thy compassion, blot out my transgressions. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin, for I know my iniquity and my sin is ever before me. 
against thee only have I sinned and done this evil before thee, that thou mightest be justified in thy words to prevail, but thou art judged. For behold, I was conceived in iniquities and in sins that my mother bare me. For behold, thou hast loved truth and hidden and secret things of thy wisdom, hast thou made manifest unto me. Thou shalt sprinkle me with this, and I shall be made clean. Thou shalt wash me, and I shall be made whiter than snow. Thou shalt make me hear joy and gladness. The bones that be humble, they shall rejoice. Turn thy face away from my sin, and blot out all my iniquity. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from thy presence, and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation, in which thy governing spirit established me. I shall teach transgressors thy ways, and the ungodly shall turn back unto thee. Deliver me from blood guiltiness, O God, thou God of my salvation, my tongue shall rejoice in thy righteousness. O Lord, thou wilt open lips, and thy mouth shall declare thy praise. For if thou desire sacrifice, I have given it with over offerings, thou shalt not be pleased. A sacrifice of the God is a broken spirit, a heart that is broken and humbled, God will not despise. Do good, O Lord, and thy good pleasure of design, and let the walls of Jerusalem be built in. Then shalt thou be pleased with a sacrifice of righteousness, with oblation and full burnt offerings. Then shall they offer bullocks upon thy altar. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the age of the ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Glory to thee, mercy, Lord, and mercy, Lord, and mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Let the heavens rejoice, let the earth be glad, for the Lord has shown strength with his arm. He has trampled down death by death, he has become the firstborn of the dead. He has delivered us from the depths of hell and has granted to the world great mercy. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages, Amen. O pale no ghost thou to the divine that has blossomed forth for us the fruit of life. We do accept the faith and proceed to lay together with the holy apostles that our souls find mercy. Blessed is the Lord God, blessed is the Lord day by day. The God of our salvation shall prosper us along the way. Our God is the God of salvation. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. O most holy Trinity, have mercy on us, O Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our sins, and to the Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, for now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, how be thy name, thy kingdom, and how thy will be done, and in the midst of heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Amen. By thy divine intercession, O Lord, as thou didst raise up the terrible of old, so raise up my soul, paralyzed by sins and thoughtless acts, so that these saved and may sing unto thee. Glory to thy power, O compassion of Christ. Lord, have mercy, 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 O Christ God, who art long suffering, plenteous in mercy, most compassionate, who loveth the righteous and his mercy on the earth, who callest all the salvation through the promise of good things to come, receive, O Lord, our prayers at this hour, and guide our life for thy commandments. Sanctify our souls, make chaste our bodies, correct our thoughts, purify our intentions, and deliver us from every sorrow, evil, and pain. And come with us about with thy holy name, and we are to be guided by thy array. We may be the unity of the faith and the knowledge of thy unapproachable glory. For blessed art thou in the ages of the ages. Amen. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. More honorable than the cherubim, and the young, and the more glorious than the seraphim. Without corruption, thou gavest mercy to God the word, and the very of the be to be magnified. In the name of the Lord, Father, bless. Amen. O Master, 
Blessed are God, the Father Almighty, the Lord, the only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, the noble Holy Spirit, one God, and one power. Have mercy on me, a sinner, and by the judgments which thou knowest. Save me, thy unworthy servant, for blessed art thou in the ages of the ages. Amen. Christ is risen from the dead, trampling down death by death, and upon those in the tombs bestowing life. Christ is risen from the dead, trampling down death by death, and upon those in the tombs bestowing life. Christ is risen from the dead, trampling down death by death, and upon those in the tombs bestowing life. O God, in thy name, save me, and in thy strength do thou judge me. O God, hearken unto my prayer, give ear to the words of my mouth. For strangers are risen up against me, and mighty men have sought after my soul, and have not set God before themselves. For behold, God helpeth me, and the Lord is the protector of my soul. He will bring evils upon my enemies. I will destroy thee by thy truth. Willingly shall I sacrifice unto thee. I will confess thy name, O Lord, for it is good. For out of every affliction hast thou delivered me, and mine eye hath looked down upon mine enemies. Give ear, O God, unto my prayer, and disdain not my supplication. Attend unto me, and hear me. I was grieved in my meditation, and I was troubled in the voice of the enemy, and at the oppression of the sinner. Because they have turned iniquity upon me, and with wrath were they angry against me. My heart is troubled within me, and the terror of death has fallen upon me. Fear and trembling are come upon me, and darkness hath covered me. And I said, Who will give me wings like a dove, and I will fly and be at rest? Lo, I have fled afar off, and have dwelt in the wilderness. I waited for God that saved me from faint heartedness and from tempest. Plunge them into the depths of the Lord, and divide their tongues, for I have seen iniquity and gain sending in the city. Day and night they go round about her upon her walls. Iniquity and toil and unrighteousness are in the midst of her, and usury and deceit have not departed from her streets. For if my enemy had reviled me, I might have endured it. And if he had hated me and spoken boastful words against me, I might have hid myself from him. But thou it was, O man of like soul with me, my eye to my familiar friend. Thou together with me and sweet my repast. In the house of God I walk with thee in oneness of mine. Let death come upon such ones, and let them go down the line of their meetings. For wickedness is in their dwellings and in the midst of them. As for me unto God, and thy pride, and the Lord hearkened unto me. Evening, morning, and noon day will I tell of it, and will declare it, and he will hear my voice. He will redeem my soul in peace from them to draw nigh unto me. For they are not many who are with me. God will hear, and he will humble them, even as before the ages. For to them there is no requital, because they have not feared God. He has stretched forth his hand in retribution. They have defiled his heaven, they were scattered by the wrath of his countenance, and their hearts have been mean. Their words were smoother than oil, and yet they are darkness. Cast thy care upon the Lord, and he will nourish thee. He will never permit the righteous to be shaken. But thou, O God, shall bring those men down into the pit of destruction. Bloody and deceitful men shall not have out half their days. But as for me, O Lord, I will open thee. He that dwelleth in the help of the Most High shall abide in the shelter of the God of heaven. He shall say unto the Lord, Thou art my helper and my refuge. He is my God, and I will hope in him. For he shall deliver me from the snare of the hunters and from every troubling work. With his shoulders will he overshadow thee, and under his wing shalt thou have hope. With a shield will his truth and compass thee, thou shalt not be afraid to terror by night, nor for the arrow that flies by day, nor for the thing that walketh in darkness, nor for the mishap and demon of noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but unto thee shall it not come down. Only with thine eyes shalt thou behold, and thou shalt see the reward of sin. For thou, O Lord, art my hope, thou madest the most high thy refuge. No evil shall come nigh thee, and no spirit shall draw nigh to thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. On their hands shall they bear the atlas, and any time thou dash thy foot against the stone. Upon the aspen of the basilisk shalt thou tread, and thou shalt tremble upon the lion's dragon. For he has set his foes on me, and I will deliver him. I will shelter him, because he has known my name. He shall cry unto me, and I will hearken unto him. I am with his affliction, and I will rescue him, and glorify him. With length of days will I satisfy him, and I will show him my salvation. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Let the heavens rejoice, let the earth be glad, for the Lord has shown strength with his arm. He has trampled down death by death, he has become the firstborn of the dead. He has delivered us from the depths of hell, and has granted to the world great mercy. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages, amen. 
Seeing that we have no hold to some account of our many sins, do thou beseech if it was born of Rio Virgin Theotokos, for the supplication of a mother of Him, much to win the Master's favor. Disdain not the prayers of us, and for all pure, unperversible, and mighty to save us, he who deigned also to suffer for our sake. Let thy compassions quickly go before us, O Lord, for we are becoming exceedingly poor. Help us, O God, our Savior, for the sake of the glory of thy name. O Lord, deliver us, and be gracious unto our sins for thy name's sake. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O most holy Trinity, have mercy on us, O Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our iniquities, O Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Lord, 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 so raise up my soul, paralyzed by sins and thoughtless acts, so that being saved I may sing to thee. Glory to thy power, O compassion and Christ. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy,
kingdom of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, our never and to ages of ages.
pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. Come and reading the most holy, most pure, most blessed, and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints. Let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God.
and it was known throughout all Jaffa, and many believed in the Lord. And to your spirit, wisdom, the Alleluia in the fifth tone, Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Bethesda 
Like all of the gospel readings during this pastoral season, is both rich in sacramental symbolism as, as well as revealing to us revealing to us truths about our salvation in Christ, as well as being directly applicable to our personal situation. Let's begin by looking at some of the symbolism here. The Pool of Bethesda was located near the sheep's gate in Jerusalem, through which the sheep who were destined for sacrifice in the temple were brought in and washed in this same pool. And it's noted that the pool had five porches, under which all manner of sick and suffering people sheltered, awaiting a time, once a year, when an angel of the Lord would descend, stir the waters, and grant healing to one person who entered. Now, if we look carefully, there's a lot of imagery here showing the fulfillment of the Old Testament in Jesus Christ. The five porches have a symbolic connection with the Mosaic Law, the five books of the Torah, or Pentateuch. And indeed, at times past, God healing and grace would come occasionally, not all the time, through the mediation of angels. And the people of God symbolically found shelter under the five porches of the law, though they did not yet find complete healing and freedom from sin. But now the time of fulfillment has come, for it's not an angel who comes today, but the Lord of hosts, the Lord of the angels. Not an ordinary shepherd, but the good shepherd enters through the sheep's gate to call his lost sheep, his lost and suffering flock, we don't find an ordinary lamb coming to the pool to be washed, but the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world comes, through whose sacrifice on the cross the waters will be given the power to wash away sin and bring regeneration in a holy baptism. So there's a very important fulfillment here. What was a washing in the pool becomes, through the coming of Christ, a means of healing, forgiveness, and salvation in holy baptism. And something more. In contrast to Christ's healing of the blind man, we'll hear about in a couple weeks, where it's made clear there that personal sin is not the cause of his condition. In today's reading, we're meant to understand a certain connection here between sin and the paralyzed condition that the man is enduring. How do we know? From our Lord's admonition, go and sin no more, that we hear at the end. Because in Holy Scripture, physical illness and bodily healing often point to and symbolize a spiritual disease that is sin and its effects, and the healing of the soul. Never think that this story is remote from you or has nothing to do with your life, says St. Nikolai Velimirovich. In our five senses, he goes on, are there not, as under five porches, heaped up a whole storehouse of pain and grief, tears, sin and lawlessness, sick thoughts, blind desires, lame attempts and withered hopes, O Bethesda, Bethesda, how universal you are. In other words, we all share, to some degree or another, the state of the paralytic. We all have some part of ourselves subject to the passions, wounded by sin, in need of healing. And we can experience this very strongly when we come for the first time to faith, or when our faith becomes alive again after a period of wandering. But even so, even for those among us who are striving to live a Christian life, we can still relate to the paralytic because none of us, as far as I know, are yet saints. So in some way or another, we have this sickness in our soul, but who can help us? This is the first question I'd like to let us sink in today. Who can help us in our poverty? You see, we have to come to realize, first of all, that we have no man, as the paralytic says, we have no one. The science and wisdom of this world may provide some partial, partial, temporary relief through medicine, psychology, what have you. And at its best, it can indeed bring some relief to our physical sicknesses, though not always. But the deeper illness that I have, the true paralysis is in my soul. It's something that no man in this world can heal. No doctor or friend or counselor can bring me into communion and union with God. A communion that lasts not only in this lifetime, but for all eternity. The only man who can is Jesus Christ, the Theanthropos, or God-man, the Son of God become man, who comes to me in my paralyzed condition and asks, he asks, do you want to be made well? Do you want to be healed? And part of me wants to reply at once, yes, of course. O oh Lord, deliver me from my pain my sins, my passions, my misery. But another part of me wants to count the cost and hold back. 
yes, things are painful now, but they're also a little. Com but I'm also a little comfortable where I am too. I mean, things aren't great, but they could be worse, right? And what will Jesus ask of me? What will I have to give up? This isn't just a hypothetical question. Jesus asks us to choose to remain. At our own. Jesus allows us to choose to remain by the edge of the pool if we'd like, under the shade of one of the five porches. We feel the pain inside, but there's a little relief now and then. Perhaps, perhaps. It's miserable, but it's familiar. But that's the state of being when I'm not living for God, when I'm not struggling against sin, when I seek first my own happiness, living my best life, as I heard someone say recently, understood in the sense of my life, not the life in Christ, in Christ and with Christ. Because the best possible life, of course, is the life with God, the life of blessedness in Him. But we have to want to be made well. We have to recognize that ultimate healing does not come from any other person or thing than Jesus Christ. That there's no other name given under heaven by which we may be saved than the name of Jesus, as St. Peter so boldly declares on uh, behalf. And if we say yes, if we gather courage and we say yes with all our hearts, then what does Jesus say next? He says, take up your bed and walk. That is to say, take up your cross and follow me. Notice the parallel here. It's the same message. Do you want to be made well? Deny yourself. Take up your bed, take up your cross and follow me. Walk. It's the same, it's the same message. We're called not just to make an intellectual ascent of faith in our heads, or to say a simple prayer, but our faith must become perfected in action, and our active response, our taking up of the cross. At the word of the Lord, we follow Him. I've heard it said before, and perhaps we've thought something like this at times too, that I love the Orthodox Church, admire the beauty of her services, the tradition, the liturgy, the theology, but I don't agree with the Church's teaching on this or that. I can't accept the Church's teaching on this or that thing, whether it be theological or, or, or moral teaching. But if I take a step back, I have to realize that if I want to be made well, I can't just have it my way sometimes and Jesus' way sometimes. This is the kind of, of compartmentalization of the type of secularism that Father Alexander Schmemann warned about. If I follow the Lord, if I'll follow the Lord, this idea that I'll follow the Lord when I agree with Him, but not when I have my own views on something, or when it's too difficult or inconvenient. But if I desire to follow the Lord, then I must attend to His words. And the words of Jesus Christ must become the central, the central authority in my life. Everything else is measured against them, and not the other way around. And the church, you see, is nothing other than the body of Christ. And the words of our Lord are at the very center of the church's life, indeed enshrined in the book of the Gospels on the Holy Altar. Right? We see that right there very visibly, that the words of our Lord Jesus Christ, not even the whole Bible, but the words of His <coughs> the Gospels, are enshrined at, at the center of the Holy Altar. And in the first half of the liturgy, indeed, we hear the Word of God, and we partake of it right now in the Gospel reading and the homily. And in the second half of the liturgy, through the miracle of the Incarnation, Crucifixion, and Resurrection, this arrives in our midst. And we partake of the body of Christ, we partake of the Word, the Word made flesh, in a Holy Communion. Jesus invites us to arise from our paralysis, from the sins that weigh us down, and come to Him in His body, the Church, and here receive forgiveness, and healing, and new life. But in receiving us, and embracing us. He doesn't tell us to stay where we are, or to go back to where we were, but to go and sin no more. That is, we're called to change our lives for the better, to be transformed, to live for the kingdom. Because worse than any physical suffering is separation from God. And the only thing that can separate us from God is when we turn away from Him, willingly sin and refuse to repent, God doesn't turn away from us when we sin. This is bad theology. He calls out to us as the Good Shepherd seeking His lost sheep. We turn from Him, but He goes out to seek us. 
as that good shepherd seeking the lost sheep. Lastly, we as members of the body of Christ, and as Jesus' hands and feet in this world, we are called to imitate His love too, by visiting those who are paralyzed, suffering alone, or suffering alone, or weighed down, whether by illnesses of the body or from burdens of the soul. We must not let anyone in our parish, our family, among our friends or acquaintances, to say that they have no one to help with their burden by illness, depression, or the weight of this world. Jesus is, of course, the only one who can ultimately save us. But we too are to be ministers of His love. We're to be witnesses to the truth of His words through our love in action. In this way, we take up our beds, we take up our crosses, and we walk. In this way, we walk the walk of Christ. So in closing this week, brothers and sisters, as we knew our call to follow Jesus Christ, confessing Him with our whole heart, and resolving to extend the hand of Christ-like love to at least one person in our life, and the Lord Himself will show us who, if we ask Him. To Him be all glory, honor, and worship, together with His Father, who is from everlasting, as all holy, good, and life giving Spirit, now and ever, and to ages of ages. Christ is risen.
this holy and all venerable temple for those who labor and those who sing, for all the people here present who will wait thy great and rich mercy.
Bishop of Washington, D.C., Metropolitan of All America, and Canada. We devote our God, remember his kingdom always, now and ever, in the two ages of ages. The most reverend Benjamin, Archbishop of San Francisco in the West, may the Lord our God remember his kingdom always, now and ever, in unto ages of ages. May the Lord our God remember in his kingdom all monastics and those of the priestly order, always, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. May the Lord our God remember in his kingdom the president of our country, all those in civil authority, and those who are in the armed forces, always, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. All those who depart in this life in faith and hope for the resurrection, may the Lord God remember his kingdom, always, now and ever, and to ages of ages. For all those who are suffering the persecution for the faith throughout the world, may the Lord God remember his kingdom, always, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. For, for all those, all those who are sick and and, and suffering, all the, all those who are in hospitals, and nursing homes, and institutions, all the, and those who are caring for them, may the Lord God remember His kingdom, always now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Uh, for all of those who have, have have lost their lives in in the in the war in Ukraine, all those who are suffering and, and refugees, and all those who. Have perished in the past shooting. May the Lord God remember his kingdom. Always now and ever and to ages of ages. For the founders and benefactors of this holy house, for those who labor, for those who sing, and those who serve, and all those who we have in our hearts, may the Lord God remember his kingdom. Always now and ever and to ages of ages. Amen. You and all of the other Christians. Blessed and glorious Lady Faith, Opus, and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints. 
Let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. Thank you. 
Rajah Vishnu Vajra, Rajah Vishnu Vajra, with these same children, thus in the days, Rajah Vishnu Vajra, what is that true?
Sisters in Christ, in order to receive Holy Communion in Orthodox Church, you must be an Orthodox Christian, you should have prepared your prayers, housing, and receive confession. <laughs>
Constantinople, our Father who the saints the better than Pacobius, and the graves member we keep this day, holy God of Francis, we are good to all the saints, and mercy on us and save us, for he is good and loves mankind. John Lottis has a birthday. Britain, Britain, uh, Dodd has a name's day. On the 20th, Timothy Kellogg has a name's day. Alex McKinnon has a name's day. Elena Plefka has a name's day. Helen Sibanudis has a name's day. Helen Janet Ferrari has a name's day. Anybody else? Please everyone join us for our coffee hour if you can, especially visitors 
uh, who are with us. I believe the food and coffee's over in the hall here, and you can join us in the pavilion out here as well. Um, a, 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 few, a few announcements uh, th this week. Um, is, some of you may, may know that we now Father Andrew Jacobs had um, a gallbladder surgery this past week. Uh, Thursday, uh, so please pray for, for his, his recovery on that. Father Tom is up at the mission um, help, helping out, so um, I think that everything went well from what I've heard. It's just a, you know, it's a little recovery too, so please keep Father, Father Andrew in your prayers. Likewise, that uh, we mentioned last night, we pray especially for, for baby Anna, Anna Fonts, um, who had a, her baptism scheduled for yesterday, but while they were, the family was, was traveling in, in Texas, she, she was, got very, very sick. I think she was with her lungs, was in the hospital there. And, and so please keep it, baby Anna in your prayers. This is the, the Fonts family, you know, Father David's granddaughter. Um, and so keep Paul and Gabby and all of them in your prayers. Uh, right now, these things are looking encouraging. I think they've heard they're planning to have the baptism in a couple of weeks um, out, out here at, at St. Christina's. Again, but please keep them all in your prayers. Um, as, as well, continue to pray for um, uh, Karen, especially, and my Alexandra, who have that, that having left out with, with the coronavirus. The culture of Father Ian Matushkin, as well, are almost recovered as well, um, had a, had a, dealing with that. So please keep them, please keep them all um, in your prayers also. So no, no, for um, on, on my own travels coming up this week, I will be away beginning on Tuesday and returning um, next, well, through next Monday. I'll be back next next Tuesday for the week. Um, so if anything you know, comes up, emergency or by, please contact uh, the Father, Father Tom, and uh, Father Ian will be will be back here as well. They'll be here along with Father Steve next weekend. Is the is the plan for here, um, unless one of them needs to go help Father Andrew up at up at the mission. Um, ne next, okay, we have a uh, note on, on some graduates. Next time, next uh, week, we'll actually be uh, recognizing our high school grads. So that's one not not to not to miss. We'll be awarding those. So I'm sorry to miss. It seems to be the be the best day to to do that. So we'll be sure to uh, give our high school grads a good, good send off. As well, we have quite a few college grads. We'll mention as well. I saw one. One of one, one of them had just left. Chris is, is now now they call him Doctor Chris now. Just graduated from medical school uh, yesterday, um, so they say he's helping with church school. So I don't need to embarrass him, but um, so he is well. Valerie Haywood is graduating the, the, this this weekend, I believe. Um, ne next weekend or soon, if I'm not mistaken, uh, Gabriel will be receiving his master's in music. Is that right? And, uh, Amalia, a master's in teaching, um, and the. the did he, uh, I know Connor is not here now. Davis will be graduating this year as well. But we're happy that he is staying to do, do his uh, do graduate studies at, at UC Davis as well. So he'll still be happy to be with us. So that's, uh, I, was, let's see, I don't want to miss anybody as well. But any other uh, say high school graduates who recognize next week? Any other college? Be sure to uh, make mention of them later on too. Okay, so the schedule this week we have, uh, for today we have an adult class, uh, yes. Um, here during uh, toward the end of coffee hour, you'll be here in the bell, continuing the Old Testament study. Um, on Tuesday, we have food closet in the morning, and in the evening at, at the Belfry with UC Davis OCF. Uh, Father John Christensen will be leading that this week. Um, there's, there'll be no regular uh, midweek services uh, here, so no, no Wednesday Vespers or Thursday Masses this week. Um, and then next weekend, uh, as we mentioned it's also the last day of church school, and um, Adult class as usual. And then on the 29th is Memorial Day Parish Potluck. Do you have anyone here to mention? I'm gathering by the name of that. It means the coffee hours we all, we, we bring something to share. Uh, but let's try to clarify that next Sunday. It's like, see that on the same day. Um, and then likewise, we'll make note on here as well. On Pentecost, June 12th, we'll, we will be uh, receiving a Sam uh, and Michael into the church. So that will be a, one, a, a big day to look forward to as well. Okay. Any, anything else? Oh, John. Yes, Father, I wanted to let everybody know that the medium roast coffee that we're uh, serving today is a blend of Kenyan, Ethiopian, Peru, and monsoon mama <laughs> Wow. wow. It's a truly international one. Yeah, enjoy it. <laughs> and the spirit, the spirit of Pasco. Who <laughs> 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 still always wants to talk? That's what you do. Okay. All right. Then, um, May the, may the blessing of the Lord be with you all. Have a, have a wonderful and blessed day. Christ is risen. Jesus.